Boardroom wrangles at CMC started earlier this year when long-serving chairman Jeremia Kireni was replaced by Peter Muthoka after shareholders began getting anxious of a steady decline in profits over the past three years. And when that storm was beginning to calm, another started. Fresh wrangles kicked off last week when board chairman and the largest single shareholder Peter Muthoka was ousted and replaced by Joel Kibe. And when the reasons for the changes were clear, the CMC board literally turned into a battlefield. As Chief Executive Bill Lay accused Andy Freitas, a company associated with ousted chairman Peter Mudoka, of defrauding CMC over 2 billion shillings last year through overbuilt charges for logistical services. This raised an issue of conflict of interest on the board as Mudoka rushed to clear his name. And as the matter unfolds, the regulator is raising the red flag. We will not hesitate to take directors who are involved even to court. The changes, Mr. Lay says, is for the best interests of the motor giant, which is home to a number of high-end franchises. CMC Motors, which retails the top market brands including Land Rover, Range Rover, and the government's official car, VW Passat, falls under the umbrella of CMC Holdings, which owns 100% of a number of farms including CMC Aviation, CMC Air Charters, CMC Management Services, CMC Uganda. Notable directors include Charles Njonjo and Richard Kimoli, among others. Now, in an ideal situation, the regulator would have been informed about the challenges facing the board way before the matter got into public domain. But before the matter gets out of hand, CMA has now come in with some proposals. All listed companies should have independent directors. What has been happening is that most of the listed companies, because of their history, have nominee directors. For a listed company that's the third largest motor dealer in the country, matters like these are likely to cause anxiety to shareholders and this may negatively impact the share price which today dipped farther from 13 shillings and 30 cents to 12 shillings and 90 cents. Reporting for Citizen Business, I am Terry Ann Chibet.